Listen, Adam, you were just acquitted of murder. Do you want to end up in a cell? Just leave Jake alone. All right, this whole David and Amanda situation is already a nightmare. Mm, I'll say. He doesn't need you provoking him. Your wish is my command. Really? Yes. All right, well, grant me another wish and take your wife home. Excuse me? Yes, we've already got enough trouble being stirred up here by David. Last I checked, you're no longer on retainer. So keep your wishes to yourself. Drink? Uh, yes, loved one. Come on. I want you to listen. I want you to try something for me, okay? To what, tormenting someone? No, I was thinking more along the lines of deep breathing, but we can revisit the tormenting thing later on if you want. I want. Okay, listen. What? Work with me here, okay? Listen up, listen. <laughs> okay. I'm not kidding. I want you to try this. Okay? Breathe. Deep. Breathe. Breathe. In. Breathe. Okay? In. Out. In, out. Huh? Mm -hmm. Better, right? Better than not breathing, yeah, yeah. No, 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 I'm not kidding. You know, at a time like this, you gotta keep your center, you know? Mm -hmm. you gotta let it ground you, you gotta mm -hmm. let it balance you, create harmony with your chi. My chi. Your chi. My chi. Mm -hmm. You're not gonna make me wax a car now and paint a fence, are you? You're hilarious, you know that? <laughs> no, seriously, where are you picking up all of this chi stuff? Well, if you must know, Mama bought this this meditation CD, and I, I kind of picked up a couple of things. Yeah, apparently. Well? Well? It works. <laughs> huh? Don't you feel more calm, relaxed? Oh, it did up until just a moment ago. If I could please have everyone's attention for a moment. Terrific. Hmm. Although some of you may believe that my dying is gift enough, I have some more I'd like to hand out. Starting with Jake and Amanda. And away we go. Now, I'm very well aware of the fact that I've done things that have made it especially difficult for the two of you. With keeping you apart and preventing you from having your own family, well, that ends right here and now. I'm signing over full custody of Trevor. Effective immediately. Liza? Yes. If you would please draw up the paperwork. Don't you dare. Without Trevor to focus on, Hayward will be after little Adam again. <laughs> That's ridiculous, Adam. I have no intention of going after little A. On one condition. Ah, <laughs> what, 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 what might that be? You don't go after him either. Little A has been through enough turmoil already. He doesn't need to be dragged through some endless tug of war. Luckily, I've been forced to see the error of my ways. I can only hope that someday you will too. Annie. My turn? I didn't get you anything. Because you just seem to have everything you've ever wanted. So true. Yeah, I, I really don't know how much more of this I can take. Let's get the hell out of here. Read my mind. Not so fast, Chief. I was talking to your wife. Oh, I, I know you don't have something for me. Oh, you are so wrong. Do you honestly think that I would leave my successor empty-handed? What is that? It's the keys to the kingdom. Or more accurately, to Pine Valley Hospital. Chief of Staff is a tough job, Doctor. But I'm sure you've already learned that by now. Forget the day-to-day -day upkeep and the headaches of scheduling. It's the politics that prove most difficult. Well, at least for me. You're in charge of a lot of people, Dr. Hubbard. People that don't always see eye to eye. Is there a point somewhere in here? I'm almost finished. Now, as challenging as it all was, I really did love the power. Oh, there's a shot. <laughs> well, let's just say that I was the pin that held it all together. So tell me, Doctor, has it been a bit more hectic in my absence, disorganized? Have you had any head-to-head -head confrontations with the board yet? I'm doing just fine. Well, that's good. You take this, you'll be doing a lot better. It's the password to my computer, where you'll find all the nasty skeletons in the hospital's closet. I use them to keep control. 
of everything, everyone. Well, now I hand that control over to you. If, of course, you want it. What do you want, Aiden? I think you can answer that question. She's not going to fall for you. How do you know she hasn't fallen for me already? Zach, what you and Kettle had is now over. Because she has no faith in you anymore. Yeah, maybe you're right about that. Maybe she has lost faith. But she's not giving up on her kids. Don't you get that? You stand between a woman and her children. She's never going to forgive you for that. You think she's going to forgive me for this? 